ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமோ ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமோ ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமோ ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமோ ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமோ ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமோ ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம் ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு 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 ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராமு ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் ஜெய் ராம ஸ்ரீராம் ஜெய் ராம் ஜெய் 
in Bhagavad Gita we used to say samatvam yoga muchati. Equanimity is yoga. How do we know that? It's a theory, you know. We can do it by heart, we can reproduce it in a meeting, we can give a good discourse. But unless and until one is subjected to go through a trying situation, there he finds God gives him the prompting to accept it cheerfully. Then we can say, yes, Samatvam Yoga Muchade. Similarly, when Papa was on a, on a Yatra, when he was prompted by the indwelling spirit, why, why was he prompted? He was prompted by the indwelling spirit to know that he is everywhere. Please mark these words. He was prompted to take up this Yatra to make him know that he is everywhere. He is in every, every situation. He is in every individual's. He is in every object. Papa was clear right from the moment he started. For you and me, it is a different thing. We are not still clear. We have intellectually understood. Because of our faith and reverence and adoration for Papa, we have faith. We, have, we, 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 are, we, are, we accept. But when it comes to us, in the form of an experience, unless we do manana intensely, it's a test, it's a test, it's a test. We will not be able to get a path mark. This chapter is, every chapter is thought provoking. Similarly, this chapter is also very much, it is good that it was taken up at the beginning itself of today's session. For no fault of us, somebody may comment, somebody may grumble, somebody may complain, at home, in the office, with the friends. We come across so many such things, for no fault of us. At that time, you know, our tendency is to blame others, naturally. Because we are trying to lead a, uh, an ethical, moral life. We, we, we don't tell lies. We don't uh, take away anybody's uh, anything. As far as possible, we are uh, using only sattvic words. Whenever it is possible, we try to help others. Just like this. In these circumstances, when somebody says something about us, are we in a position to accept it? Or, I won't say accept it, it may not be possible to accept it. Are we in a position to accommodate, to give space to that person also, or to that uh, situation also? There may, we will all say, you know, there may be some reason behind it which we may not know at the moment. Can we take it like that? That is the clue Papa is giving us. We may not be able to bring in that it is God who is testing us, but as a prime preliminary step, will we, will we be able to say that there must be some reason which I don't know at the moment. Because as far as we feel, uh, we have not done anything wrong. There are, without, without, without harboring ill will for the other party. Uh, we remember one incident which had happened about say uh, 30, 30, 35 years back when we were in the coffee estate management. On those days, coffee was a excisable commodity. So to move from one place to another, we need a particular form, a statutory form called TP3, Transport Permit Form Number 3. Every uh, bean of coffee has to be recorded. And so, we used to send it to Terichali from Wayanad, another place, by lorry, 10 tons or 11 tons. According to us, we, according to us, that has been the practice that we don't violate any laws. 
So one day we got a telephone call after the lorry has left us with the nursery farms that it has been uh, retained by the superintendent of central excise uh, about 30-35 kilometers away from our estate and they said that uh, uh, our papers are not proper. What to do now? So immediately uh, our boss and both of us went to the central excise inspector there local, showed him all the records. Have we uh, committed any mistake? He said, you are perfectly right. You can personally go and explain to the superintendent. They have no uh, case to detain your vehicle. So we uh, rushed up there, explained to him, no, no, he said, yes, you have illegally transported this uh, same coffee from one branch of yours to another branch. So it is uh, punishable. We still remember the reaction of our boss. He never lost his temper. He said, as far as we know, your own department said that we are right in doing it. If you feel what we have done is wrong, please charge it. Detain the vehicle, charge it. Don't detain without charge it. And if we have done wrong, you can take whatever action that is to be taken. In, in, a, in a dispassionate manner. There was not a tinge of what you call uh, animosity or getting offended. And then we gave, we, had, we sat in our vehicle. After a few minutes, you know, the, the officials came and gave back the key and then said, you go. When we are discussing, you know, we can definitely see the reaction. No? Anybody would have flared up. You know? Your own department say that we have, uh, we, we are absolutely in line with, in conformity with the statute. But you have unnecessarily detained. And we, the only thing is the boss added that uh, if you think we, uh, you charge it. If you don't charge it, we will go to the police department and say you have illegally detained. Either of this you do. That also not in a, uh, not in a, uh, what do you call, uh, violent tone. Very friendly tone. It had its own. As after this incident, we went to the assistant collector of customs and explained everything to him. And the first word the boss said, if you think we have committed anything, you can charge us. We are prepared to pay the penalty. Because we don't want to go against the statute. You know what the aspect of immediately got up from his seat. He said, on behalf of the department, I apologize. There is no mistake in it. Then he said, forget about it. So, the, so it can be handled. It is not a thing that we can hear and just go and say, is it possible? No. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. We would not have been able to bring in the God dimension. We would not have been able to bring in the uh, testing aspect. Now we can add, yes, it was a test on us. And whether we know it or not, we had the pass mark. So, in, in certain cases, God does not make us to bring in the dimension, but he does see to it that we get the pass. That means we don't, we don't lose our equilibrium. So, what is more important is, we don't have to superimpose, just like uh, Swami Prasnabhanji Maharaj said on the first day, you know, when he was, uh, the Martin story. The presence of God need not be in the way in which we all conceive. It can be in any form. So similarly, it was a test given to us by the uh, superintendent of general uh, excise, but Without harboring any ill will, there could be some clerical mistake on our part, we don't know. That was our first attitude. And in a friendly tone when it was handled. The uh, matter was amicably settled. There was only confusion for one and a half hours. 
the confusion for one and a half hours. Now we know it was a test. But it is possible. By God's grace, it will be possible for us to retain, to remain in the sense of equality. Requirement. So when we go through the second chapter of uh, Bhagavad Gita, where he defines about his yoga, Samatvam Yoga Muchati. Equanimity is yoga. So that is what Papa here exhibited. This is to be taken note of. We don't know how God will test us. From a tiniest incident to a grossest incident, he might do that. Probably that is why he is insisting us to have an in-depth study of in quest of God, so that these are all the tools with which, you know, you can, we can keep on refining ourselves. He made us to name it as a manual, you know, life manual. Whenever we are in trouble, we open the manual and see, you know, how to handle the situation. So, in quest of God is a manual. In that sense, that, well, for no fault of mine, I have been charged with what am I to do? Am I to keep up? Yes. Don't worry. If you are so charged and if you are so shout, what is the net yourself? And here what has happened? That not only that, you know, you, you did not lose your equanimity, uh, uh, but also you were able to touch and transform the others. And whatever negativity was there in them, it was erased by this exemplary contact. Yes, yes, it's one of the wonderful points, you know. We cannot just leave it like that. We, just now, you know, just like we parade in our own life, uh, just to reinforce that it is possible without jumping into any conclusions. Still we may fail or forget, doesn't matter, but in the shortest possible time we can correct ourselves. Very important point. Good, good, that was raised for the first, first time, yes. Yes. Is that okay? Is that okay, Jai Jamran? Yes, Samji. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Samji. Hello, Swamiji. Hello. Um, I have one point uh, for clarification. When I went through this chapter one of In Quest of God, oh. um, I the Papa struggled uh, when he and he called the, upon the supreme power. Mm -hmm from the heart and he prayed from the heart very sincerely then when he got free moments he connected with the lord disciplined and he uh, he got initiated read the great master's books mm. then with all this uh, done i guess um, rest everything was taken care of by the lord um, by his grace, Ram's grace, um, um, it was everything was da ha happening. So, oh. is it that Tan Padi Daivam Padi we call no? Is it that is uh, right, Swamiji, in our daily oh. oh. life? Oh. Uh, uh, normally, we say Tan Padi Daivam Padi. So long as we have the sense of individuality vibrant. That means not, not fully subservient to the higher power within us. Self-effort is also to be made from our side. At the same time, we should know that he has given us only a right to work, the fruit of which is decided by him. This is as long as we keep up the sense of individuality vibrant. We have not fully handed over lock, stock and barrel of ours to him. But at the same time, we know he is there. That is the stage through which probably many of us are passing through. We know he is there, but we are not very clear. 
the sense of individuality is also having. So, in this case, what is to be done? So, our own, our own self-effort, whatever we have defined it as a self-effort, that is also, that is done, and at the same time, becoming aware of the relevance of God dimension. That is why they say, Sāyampādi, Devapādi. As long as this is a, in Papa's case, can, whether we can say that uh, this is applicable to him or not, it is, uh, it is, everyone has to draw their own conclusions. Because as you said, the first, first word, uh, it was a period of terrible stress. In this utterly helpless condition, full of misery, where is relief, where is rest? This was the heart's cry of Ramdas. So, the, he felt that misery. The sense of individuality felt the misery. And then cried, self-effort. It was heard. Yes, you are right. We can, we can surmise like that. So, that means, we have to do our part as long as we feel we are an individual, which is called sadhana. Ultimately, we will come to know that it, it is not that we are doing any sadhana, it is he who is making us to do sadhana for reasons known to him. Because he is with us very much, in us, around us. So then why should he make us to do that? We cannot question. So, until I reach, until I realize this state, what is the attitude I should continue? So, this, that has been beautifully answered and beautifully brought out now by raising this point. Self-effort is necessary and at the same time, normally we along with the self-effort, we also fix the expectation of our results. And again, if the expectation is not up to what we are aiming at, we get again dispirited, dejected, disappointed. That will not come here if this Tanpadi, Devampadi, if it is very clear. You have, made, you, have, you have provided me, you have facilitated me to do this much. Now it is left to you. Whatever you say, that is okay for us. When such an attitude is developed by his grace, everything will be positive only. Outwardly the result may be negative, but ultimately it will be positive only. You go for an interview, you prepare well, but you are not selected. No? You will not lose your self. You are prepared well, you will keep preparing well. And you will know as a devotee, as a spiritual aspirant, probably God does not want me to get into that. It may not help me in my spiritual pursuit. Like that you will be able to accept. So even in everything, this Tanpadi, Devampadi, if we can try to develop, Karmanyeva Adhikarasthi. Karmanyeva Adhikarasthi. That is, they, they have only a right to do the work. Mahakaleshu Kata. So, don't think about the result. In his case, when he was cornered, all that he could do was to utter, to place himself totally at the feet of him. That is what, that is why he said from the heart's, heart's cry. That means a prayer with the feeling. It's also very important, you know, very important. We all do prayers, but we don't know whether it is coming from the bottom of the heart. Here again, we, will, uh, we want to repeat this. When the prayer is coming in the original way, prayer is not borrowed from anybody. Prayer is not repeated. Somebody's prayer is not repeated. When I repeat my own prayer, that means it is coming right from the bottom of the heart. Then it is heard. Normally, as devotees or as aspirants, we are carried away by, or we carry on with, I won't say it is a bad thing, 
we normally we, we carry on with what we have heard from Mahatmas from scriptures. That will be our usual tendency. Nothing wrong in it. In the initial stages, until and unless we know that unless and until I I start originating myself, all these things are necessary. Just like idol worship is necessary to know that through idol worship, through a localized form, we are trying to get an expansive idea. Through the personal to the impersonal. We need. So similarly, the prayer of a Mahatma, the prayer of prayer found in the scriptures, it, it, it does help, no doubt. Today when we were performing Arati at the Pongal, we were remembering, you know, at the time of Arati, the, Kato, the words of the Katopanishad. The prayer normally uh, it is uh, chanted along with it. So that means, you know, we, we remember that. It helps us. Natatra Suryu Bhadi Nachandra Dharagam Nema Vidhido Bhadi Kutovaya Makirhi Tameva Bhantam Manu Bhadi Sarvam Tasya Basa Sarvam Gitam Vipas. Because we are, we are now performing an arati to you. It is nothing, it is symbolically we are presenting it. It is the light that is inner light which is illuminating the entire this thing, including the sense of individuality. We are reminded of this. So at the time of performing the arati, when we do that, no, no, no doubt the Upanishadic prayer words definitely come back to us. It helps us. But if we stop with that, we will be denied of the ultimate. Just like the Rishis, you know, Upanishads are unauthored. We don't know who has done it. So just like uh, that Rishi, that great Mahatma who composed this, it came from his heart. It is original. That is why it is still ringing through our ears. Even after, not centuries, what do we say that? Yugas. Thousands and thousands of years back. But it is still fresh, you know, when we repeat it. Because it is original, original, original. But if it has to become mine, I must also bring it out in my own way. How do I do that? These, these prayers help us. Papa has been reading prior to this 1920 struggle or in between 20 to 22 books of Swami Vivekananda, uh, Swami Ramtirtha, Yogavasishta, Light of Asia, Gandhiji's books, New Testament, you know, like so many books, you know. And it was not merely reading. He was trying to assimilate and retain. That helped him to bring out the original prayer in him. Kindly mark these words. Here he says, you know, where is relief, where is rest? This was the heart's cry of Ramga. The cry was heard. He was going through all these things, but he did not quote anybody's prayer. But that anybody, everybody's prayer, everybody's uh, wisdom teachings helped him to touch and kindle and open up a prayer which is original and it was immediately heard. So we are now praying to him. So far we have been repeating, even in Ashram we repeat universal prayer. Now we realize the universal prayer was a prayer which originated from Papa. If uh, I, the other day we showed you, you know, uh, if you go through the poem's textbook, first page you will see the facsimile of Papa, the, the facsimile of this universal prayer written by Papa himself in his own handwriting. So when we say, O oh, Lord of the Universe, O oh, Creator, Protector, Destroyer of the World, why it has not touched and kindled us all these years? Why we have not given the needed, what do you call, trust or importance for it? That is why we were simply repeating, O oh, Lord of the Universe, O oh, Creator, Protector and Destroyer of the World, I come in all humility to thy holy feet and surrender myself entirely to thee. 
papa wanted mata ji wanted us to repeat this every day so that one day we will bring out our own prayer and when it is our own prayer it will be 100% sincere na 100% on the bottom of the heart here we are borrowing somebody's prayer and repeating it yes yeah yeah chick please think about it please think about it this is very very important also so it is uh, i don't know how far it is getting connected with tarbadi devam bali this is also another point which papa wanted us to concentrate upon because he had he had uh, gone through many of you when you go, when you go through the uh, passage to divinity you find uh, elaborate mention of be made about various texts he had been going through yesterday we got a, a email also from one of our devotees saying that when papa has taken over why should he bring all these books you know light of asia new testament bhagavad gita mahatma gandhi jang india ethic and religion god prompted him to take it and later on we came to know from one or two incidents that uh, what he was carrying was instrumental in transforming others that was the purpose when god made him to take this book in in, in uh, testament new testament you will find in later a, a, a christian ticket inspector he was touched to so be so that 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 clearly shows that god made him to take the books that was the only possession he had probably one more pair of dress and these books another one we all we all get whenever we go in we carry a few books not that our entire books we have to carry the one book one reading one intense reading will definitely touch and kindle so many things that god has facilitated us to remember so these are some of the points allied points along with this what you call tanpadi devam thank you sir thank you so much yes. okay okay Then. Swami, I have one more question. I have one more question. Ah, uh, tell, tell me, tell me. This is again first chapter only. Papa was meditating on Ram whenever time permitted. Later on, later one day, he was initiated by his by his. Yeah, father. Father. Please, 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 please. Please repeat. Hello. Ah. Oh. Swami ji, the papa was meditating on Ram whenever time permitted. Ah. Oh. Later on, one day he was initiated by his father. Oh. Initiated by his father. What oh. is initiation and is it essential for a seeker? How do we do? Or is it Lord will decide at the right time for a seeker for it? in papa's case when we checked up with some other article we came to know that as soon as he saw mahatma ji at a distance he had written that was the first spiritual touch that came to him so since babu ji was always chanting ram ram he was a great votary of ram and ram stood for the nirguna niragara aspect papa was chanting it and then he cried because he was confronted with such a, a problem which for which he couldn't he couldn't get any answer from the vyavahik level so he prayed and when he, when he was blessed with the awareness that god his prayer has been heard and with a clear cut direction that trust me but do you spare not trust me you shall be free and he carried on and then as an that gave him relief to when when he was thinking more and more about it this is called meditation a mental process by which we are connecting to the higher ideal to the higher principle so when he was meditating upon this he was finding relief 
in order to keep up that relief, whenever time permitted, even if the time is ever so short, he was trying to meditate and chant. When this was going on, he found, you know, the uh, he needed more and more mind space. So he was trying to deny so many things for himself. At that moment, God arranged for this initiation. Actually, it is not for initiation. From the Vyavaharic level, you know what happened? The entire family people became panicky. Something had got gone wrong with him. They thought something seriously has gone wrong with him. So the brothers, you know, they immediately informed their father. Papa was in Bangalore. Her father was in Pudupi with some other brother. So immediately he rushed up. He was also very much attached to uh, his son, little Rao. So as soon as he saw, he said, what happened? So Papa, with all the joyful mood, said, God made him to repeat this. Ram, Ram, Ram. Then he immediately said, come on, sit down. I will now give you a mantra which has been given to us by a sannyasi who has promised us that you will get peace if you constantly chant. Papa took it as an initiation. You know, many of our elders or friends or somebody will say, you know, I was chanting this, you know, I went to this uh, temple, I got this relief. I was chanting for uh, uh, 108 times, I got relief. In Hyderabad, you know, you have heard a temple called uh, Visa Balaji. Students who applied for uh, visa to US, you know, we had pers- we had seen it so with our own eyes. We happened to pass through that area that we went in. So then, uh, we saw so many youngsters making rounds, 108 rounds. They are making a note, how many rounds. With all faith and devotion, they were doing it. And many of them came out and said that whenever we do it sincerely, Balaji will immediately enable us to get the visa. So now you you see now, like that, he also said, father also said, we can say that you take this. At at this stage one day, Ramdasa's father came to him sent by Ram and calling him aside, gave him the Upadesha Brahmanandra. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, assuring him that if he repeated this mantra at all times, Ram would give him eternal happiness. Papa named it as initiation. So that is why when later on when uh, devotees were asking him about initiation, he would say, you chant any name with faith and devotion. And that your faith and devotion will definitely get in touch, will enable you to be... uh, to, to, to be, to get a master who will initiate you with the mantra. Not that you have to go in search of it. Either he will come to you or you will be taken to his place. Because Papa says, when the uh, realized soul gives mantra, along with it he also, he, he gives it from the experiential level, not from the knowledge level. We all hear this and we you know what, what do we do in Anandasham? We have the recorded message of Papa. So when somebody wants an initiation, we give them some background and make them to sit. And then we play this. At the end of it, Papa will say, Om. And we will say, we repeat, Om, Sri Ram, Sri Ram, Yera, Yaya. And we say this is initiation. Just think about it. It's a very important point. We, they, they also ask, can we have mantra initiation? Yes, we can have. We go by the tradition, because Puja Madhaji was very particular, that only Papa initiates. Because the initiation should come from a realized souls. So then that, that will be played, and we call it as initiation. The taker also accepts it as an initiation. But we have also seen in the case of many uh, saints 
when he spiritually evolved his old, that they did not take any initiation as such. Say, Bhagavan Paramahamsa, Ramakshi Paramahamsa, just imagine. Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. We have not heard. There are a number of such instances where this, this the, the, the official initiation does not come there. So we need not now bother about it. We will we will say we will not give we will not go in search for initiation. If the initiation is to be done, God will give us the party. And he will make the necessary arrangement. Just like Papa did not go in for everybody, you know. The father himself came and he gave him the mandra, which somebody has given him. But Papa took it as an initiation and took his father as the initiating guru. It's all relative, no? How you take it. So in our case, what we are doing is when we are when, when, when we are on the path, rest assured, no, this is clear, very clear. That if it is needed, it will be arranged. If it is not needed, it does not come at all. If God wills that an initiation should take place in my life, He will arrange it in such a way. Either He will take me to the Guru Sthan or the Guru will come and say, You take this mantra. If it is needed. So every time we leave it to Him. Otherwise, in our heart, we may feel, I am not yet initiated, I am not yet initiated. If it is necessary, he will do it. All that we have to do is to carry on. In Papa's case, he went on. He went on. He, he, he drafted his own prayer. And he was blessed with the answer intuitively. And he was feeling, getting, feeling himself connected with him. To keep up the connection, he was chanting and meditating. And probably to reinforce his uh, path. God, immediately in the form of his father, came. And he did not give any other talk. He simply said, he assuring him that if he repeated this mantra at all time, Ram would give him eternal happiness. We are all in search of happiness, a peace of mind, fullness, that eternal happiness which, which always abides, which doesn't go, which doesn't uh, keep coming and going, abiding happiness. And he left and Papa continued. And later on, you will also find, normally, you know, the tradition is when a guru gives, you know, we don't touch it. But here, Papa added home later. After reading uh, Swami Rampirtha's books and getting inspired, because Rampirtha gives a lot of importance of Pranam Mantra. So when he went to go through that, he was inspired. And therefore he added home later to it. In uh, traditionally, you know, in North India when you go, they will not add. To them, home is full and final. So they will say, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. But when we happen to go to some of the places in North, in Gujarat, for example, in one temple, Akanda Ram Nam is going on. Jamnagar. Eh? Jamnagar, no, Swami. Ah, we, we don't exactly. Eh? So Akanda Ram Nam is going on. And then, where we were told by uh, our friends, please don't uh, use go. Because here Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. So we chatted along with them Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. So what, what we are trying to make you understand is Papa did not hold on to the traditional aspect. God guided him perfectly. And he gave the definition also for Om Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Later on when he was uh, talking to Westerners, he gave them one. Meaning, by whom he meant to be Nirguna Nirakar aspect, impersonal aspect of God. By Sri, the personal aspect, the Saguna Saga. 
and Ram stands for both and beyond both. J stands for victory. So victory to the reality. Who is with the name, without name, without form. Who is with the name, with form. Who is also both and beyond both. This is how he defined it. So it's not a traditional way. So from all these it is becoming clearer and clearer that when we are steadfast and when we have our hundred percent unshakable faith in him and we carry on with whatever he provides, he will he will also facilitate us to have whatever we need for our spiritual progress. In our case, we we'll take initiation, but this background should be there. We have been prompted by God to take initiation from Papa. If you think I have taken initiation from Papa, the result may not be 100% beneficial to us. But suppose we feel that God made us in order to give a push, a feeling, a thrust, an impetus you know, for us, for our spiritual progress. He made us to get in touch with Anandasham and through Anandasham, Lord Papa, and through him we got the holy and uh, all powerful Ramana Mantra initiation. If we take it like that, it will be 100% effective. Probably he wants to bring it out uh, through this question. Yes? Are you on Chapter 4, 8 paragraph, can you explain to understand more than what is written there, Swamiji? Chapter 4? 8 para, oh God, thy ways are wonderful, those sadhus say. So can you no. more on that? Because we are not getting the exact feeling of those people. Can you explain in a better way so that we can more understand more of what is written? The two people who were doing bhajan. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You can reduce the voice. <laughs> <laughs> the two bhaktas who are doing uh, bhajan and of course everybody is not above the body you know at least when the, when the, when the uh, hunger is there naturally it is not a crime to develop they said you know since morning we have been singing the glory of God and he has been, he has given us only this much. Hunger is pinching the stomach. How are we to procure food, O oh God? Is thy bhajan from morning till now worth only nine paise? That is, nine paise I mean one paise is uh, one twelfth of a nana. 192 paise make one rupee. In good old days, rupees are as paise. 192 paise make one rupee. So they got only nine paise. Can just imagine. From morning, as soon as you know, immediately after the uh, uh, adoption of sannyas, when Papa was entering into the Sri Rangam, he saw two people were doing bhajan, so he joined them. He also placed his lota. And then after uh, at about one o'clock or something, you know, when they looked at they only saw the nine paise and this was the reaction. So, immediately Papa said, no, no young brothers, no value can be set upon your bhajan. God is always kind and loving. He never forsakes those who depend upon him. Ram has sent through his humble slave money for your food today. So saying, he dropped into the hands of the sadhus one rupee, that is 192 paise. Out of the amount he was then carrying with him. But he did not touch a pie for himself, that later on we will see. And then now, he says, O oh God, thy ways are wonderful. Who, the two people who grumbled, you know, as soon as the one rupee was given, suddenly they realized, we are doing bhajan, is it for pa paise? No, no, we should not. So they felt. So here, God enacted this play to make us know that when even, even when the so-called prayers are heard by him for our material requirements, 
we should never feel that it is because of the prayer we got it. It is because of the grace we got it. You see, O oh God, thy ways are wonderful. Pardon, pardon. Thy unworthy slaves, pardon thy unworthy slaves. We doubted thee and thy love in future. See? Grant that we may never blame thee, but bear all sufferings patiently in thy name. So previously the attitude, you know, and then the attitude. They are not telling, oh God, I we know that you will ultimately save us. And normally that is our attitude. You know. We pray, if it is heard, we are happy. If it is not heard, we are not happy. But here through this incident, God is teaching us that he will on certain occasions, when the prayer is from the bottom of the heart, even if it is for a material, uh, what do you call, uh, need, he will respond to the prayer. But as a true devotee, I should immediately correct myself that I should not doubt him. My job is only to pray, that's all. He has prompted me to pray, that's all. Thank God, even by the just now, he said, you know, our job is only to pray and leave it. Whatever may be the outcome or, or the result of the prayer, I must be able to accept it. That those two bhaktas, you know, they specifically mentioned this. In future, grant that we may never blame thee, but bear all sufferings patiently in thy name. This was a wonderful point, wonderful point. In-depth study means, you know, Papa is showing us, you know, the, what is in-depth study. Because this, these are the things which are connected with our everyday life. We are subjected to go through so many and then we pray. If we don't get it, we may not be able to accept it cheerfully. So we may not come out with any uh, negative remark. But heart of heart, but this particular incident, just like you know, it's a manual, another tool he is giving to us. Yes, it is alright when you feel hunger, when you are in need of anything, nothing wrong in praying. But leave that. He made you to pray, you know, that is enough. When you are only praying, whether you hear it or not, let me be able to accept it. Karmanyeva Adhigaras. Just like in action only I have the right, prayer only I have the right. I should not precondition my mind that this prayer should be heard by him. Even if I say that this should be heard by him, I should not be affected when the outcome is not in line with what is expected of us. Expected by us, if the outcome is not what is expected by us. Another clue for all of us. Deep thinking is necessary. So these are all very much related to our day-to-day -day life, work-to-day life. It's a beautiful point, yes. We must have read it many a time, but this aspect would not have come to our mind. Prayer, we must. Prayer, we can. Prayer, we offer. But Beyond that, we go. It may be palatable, it may not be palatable. It may be okay, it may not be okay. And uh, uh, one more thing, yes. If I am, when I am hungry, for example, when I am hungry, and uh, when I am sincerely praying, and if I am, my, my prayer is not heard, I will have no chance to reform myself. But when it was heard, they did not energize him, praise him for what has been given. They only said, you know, pardon, pardon the unworthy slaves. 
beautiful. Pardon, pardon thy unworthy slaves. We doubt at thee and thy love in future. Grant that we may never blame thee. So it is only for uh, to make them understand that he is another Akshagan, another Nathan, Abad Pandavan. He will come to our the refuge of the helpless, you know, we say uh, the universal prayer. Because those are all the terms by which, you know, we, we relate ourselves to him. If somebody is turning their back to us, we will not move towards him. Whether he gives or not, at least he should see us, you know, a smile. And he said, hello. We may not be able to meet the soul full, but no harm in hearing, you know. Swamiji uh, used to say, uh, Mataji, how she was pointing out to him many a time. What harm is there in hearing? You know, really? So here we, we find a, a, a sublime point for all of us to think over. And then you be buried before our own lives. Many of, all of us would have definitely prayed for one thing or another during our life. Because we all believe in him. We have faith in him. And we are all, we have been subjected to go through many trying moments in our life. So at that time when we prayed, what was our mind, mental mind, mindset? When it was heard, it was not heard. What was our inner reaction? Now this is something on which we can get more clarity. The two words. Thy ways are wonderful. Pardon, pardon thy unworthy slaves. We doubted thee and thy love. In future grant that we may never blame thee. But bear all sufferings patiently in thy name. A wonderful point. Good. Swami, Swami ji? Swami ji? Ah, yes. Hariyo Swami ji? Hariyo. Uh, Swami ji, uh, there is, uh, we can observe that there is spontaneity uh, uh, on Papa's part now. Spontaneity? Uh, yeah. Papa is a... is. Spontaneity. In Papa's case, you know, we have so many dimensions. One is spontaneity. God promptly to immediately part with one rupee. But at the same time, you see, he has taken a vow a few hours back saying that, you remember? The body we maintain and fed upon the food procured by Viksha or on what was offered at arms, you know, just a few hours back. We had, in, in, according to his book, next chapter, you know, he was, he was having nine rupees. Yes, Swami. Uh, that means nearly about 1800 pies. But he did not touch a pie. He looked at his own lota. Looking into his own lota, Ramdas discovered in it two pies. Thousand eight hundred pies are there with him. Two pies he got. His heart leaped with joy. At the sight of these tiny coins, the first proceeds of his viksha. So here we are, here, yes, this, this is also a very important point. It's good that you raise. When we make resolves, Success depends upon only how we hold on to it, you know. You must have also been feeling hungry. After adopting the order of sannyas and taking the three vows, he came out, he sat with them, and then he saw immediately for others, you know, what was given to, what was with him, he shared. For him, no. Because he has taken a vow. Hereafter, this body shall be maintained with whatever that is offered. With the two paise, he bought a banana and satisfied himself. He never touched 
and later on the next chapter you will find he handed over the entire thing to the sadhu ram and uh, distributed and he became perfectly clear clean so it is a uh, spontaneous nature because god was acting through him number one and uh, as a from the sense of individuality he was he was sticking to the resolve god made him to take you and i can just maintain no suppose we can say no from the next process we can adjust we want now one and a half for uh, uh, our uh, breakfast or what do you call it, lunch we are taking it from there we may rightfully replace it but here he did not touch it so making a firm resolution we remember his three mantras you know fixed resolve sustained faith optimistic outlook he said these are the three things that are needed for a spiritual aspirant fixed resolve unchanging unshakable not wavering and sustained faith in the faith in god and always be optimistic in outlook very good thank you so much so, so many things are patched and kindled today we are question yesterday swami somebody ji. should take note of it na no? swami ji swami ji hari om swami ji today point ji. about the initiation that ah. if you need if god feels if papa all perfect papa feels that you need the initiation we will arrange it this point was very very nice very appealing yes. that is the heart the way it is explained because many people feel that because they are our friends they feel that they are not uh, still come to anandashram or they have not met papa mata ji so they feel that something is lacking in their life or some support but they do about their own tapas or anything so this point is very nice very appealing uh, very no, convincing no. any any yes, name no. they take yes any name they take if they take it with the same Uh, shraddha or with the same faith it will take yes. them it will help them yes because yes. everybody cannot be yes everybody cannot come in touch with ashram uh, because they have their own family background and shirdi sai baba or akkal kot swami somewhere somewhere else they, it is not necessary that they should come to anandashram only so any name they take it will take them to the higher level there so are this incidents this connection we remember uh, in the last 2 3 months people from abroad you know they used to send us an email can we take initiation because they cannot come now mm-hmm. then we made we said these are all the procedures and in one case we in our days of course god is helping us through this uh, science and technology so the what do you call this uh, we can see them we can talk to them like online, this online online yeah. yeah. all right so then we uh, we had also sent them previously in advance a password that we explained to them and at that particular time we say you now repeat so the papa initiated them sitting from anandashram uh, 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 in the form of a table and then papa initiated nam to them sitting somewhere in the corner of united states and they felt very happy and nowadays uh, three or four such incidents have taken place and they would say when uh, we, we we will be there we at the appointed time they will be before the computer or mobile yes computer or laptop yes yeah. then we also open our laptop and connect our services with them mm-hmm. and they just explain and we explain to them suppose it is not audible we explain to them the words of papa and make them know that this actually this uh, this particular uh, uh, words of papa uh, has not been made with the intention of initiation but we are making it using it as an initiation because he was talking about the sweetness of ramna and at the end of it he said ramdas will give you the name word after word will you kindly repeat then somebody asked whether we can for the uh, for the time being we will also repeat ramna but at this so though we say This is the one which Pooja Mataji wanted us to take it as initiation. So that is why we are now passing it on. 
and then all of them were satisfied. And they said, now we have started chanting Ramana. Papa has given to us, though we were not able to come to Anandash. Even hearing this is so thrilling. Even hearing this is very thrilling. Because of? Even hearing this from you is very thrilling. That Even hearing from you is very thrilling. Ah, yeah, 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 correct, correct. Yes, Swamiji, you are making every point very, very easy for us to understand. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Swamiji. Hello. Hmm. I not, I not seven. As usual, today is also has been very lively. Uh, is somebody making a point? Noting down? <laughs> yes, Swamiji. Or we are just hearing and forgetting? Swamiji, are you? I have, have a small question. Somebody Swamiji, I have it? a small question. Yes, Swamiji. Swamiji, Jyoti wanted to talk to you something. Yes, Jyoti. Okay, tell me. Tell me. Uh, yes, Jyoti. Swamiji, uh, kindly, can you tell us some small tips, you know, so that we can, you know, we can... Uh, Start seeing God in everybody. I mean, that's a very difficult thing, although, but some small tips, you know, where we start off with seeing, you know, ourselves in everybody. So we have this universal love that, you, you know, that would, I mean, some small tips. So we start off with that, you know, seeing God in everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> some small tips. So we can start off with that. The very fact that the, the, the words are coming now. The very fact that he has uh, uh, facilitated all these for us, the very fact that he has prompted us to come and sit now at between 4 to 5, the very fact that we he prompts so many people to bring out so many things that are hidden behind the lines, that itself shows his care and concern for us, his, his uh, earnestness to guide us and lead us. It is not an individual that is coming out. It is not a planned one. It is not the intellect that is working. It is he and he and he alone for, for enabling us to refine ourselves, to move towards him. But he, is, he is facilitating all these things. Just start thinking. The very fact that all these things are facilitated to us. Papa dropped the body in 1963. 37 plus 22. 59 years back. Still, you know, people are asking for initiation from him. Just imagine. What can you say? Unless he is there. Some clue, you said, no, simple clue. And unlike, uh, unlike uh, others, you know, the, is, Anandashram has got a low profile with uh, nobody going up, uh, outside and uh, preaching. So, unless and until he touches and kindles, and he happens to know about Papa, he know, happens to know about Anandashram, happens to know about inquest of God, happens to know about initiation and the, uh, happens to know about the holy and all powerful Ramnam. How, how, how? These are all the simple things, you know, when we hear such a, when we get an email from uh, an unknown person, he introduces himself. He says, I have gone through, I would like to get initiated. Immediately, you know, you are touched. Yes. Here is an opportunity given by God to you to connect himself to the wisdom teachings of Papa. We don't need any other clue. Just start seeing what is happening now and here. Is that clear, Jyoti? Yes, Swamiji. Try to think now. It will become more and more clear as you go. Okay. Hari Somebody may take note of all these things because it should not uh, get erased. Yes. Because after three months, we will, we will devise some method by which uh, we will have a recap. And in that recap, we will try to bring out all these, you know, in, uh, what do you call that, uh, bullet points. So that, oh, this is what we discussed, this is what we discussed. And then tallying it with our own day to day dealing, whether we have been uh, able to keep it up or fail. Okay? Here you go. Om yes. Ram Jai Ram eh? Jai Jai Ram Ho Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Ho Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Ho